What's poppin' and crackin', everybody? Hey. Hey, there you go. What's poppin'? <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. So, um, how's everyone doing? As you can see, yeah, we are joined by um, a special guest. Do you enjoy my special guest? Yes. Um, because our friend um, Christian is um, sick. Today, uh-huh, uh-huh. so we, you know, pray, prayers up, very prayers up for our boy Christian. Right? Praise up for our boy Christian. You know, uh, you recover, fast recovery, you do, my man. Okay, but for today, right, we are joined by none other than introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Seki. We're joined by Seki, all right, Seki Shocks, all right, he's my brother, okay, um, yeah, how are you doing, how's everyone doing, all right, we want to see you guys in the chat, all right, show some love, all right, show some love to Seki in the chat, people, show some love to Seki in the chat, we'd love to see it, we'd love to see it, all right, there we go, show some love, all right, show some love, let's go, okay. so yeah, um, we are, you know, we are currently well. Seki was a uh, last-minute pull, <laughs> right? Last-minute pull because uh, Chris uh, was a la- said his uh, that he was sick last minute as well. So it's kind of um, hard to um, base or get something out of that. But yeah, it was yes. last minute. So good thing Seki's, you know free and is on the go. Yep. So, yeah, there is that. Um, um, there's that. So, hey, thank you guys for, um, you know, showing your support nonetheless, right? Whether it's Seki who's here, whether it's Christian who's here, or whether yeah. it's going to be someone else who will be here. Thank you guys for showing the love and the support that you guys give. All right. Yeah. And of course, all right, with that being said, with all that being said, we are still... All right. Um, in the topic of peace of mind. All right. Mm-hmm. So wait. Before anything else, right? I want to, you know, let's give an update. How is December going for you guys? Let's, you know, let's have a little. Yes. Little chat, chat, chat in right, comments over in the comments section. How is December going for you guys? You know, how has it been? How is it working? All right. Is it is it all right with you guys? Okay, because. December so far has been, uh, in one word, how has December been? Busy. I would say the same thing too. Busy. Yes. It is so busy. There was, there's so much um, things, you know. <laughs> we have to do so much things, so much things going on. So it's quite hard to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, to deal with all of them at the same time. But hey, you know, one step at a time, right? Step at a time. Yeah, um, that's what we are, you know. Thinking of doing, right? Thinking of doing. Yep. So yeah, um, it has been very busy actually. So to you guys, right, in the chat, let us know, right? Let us know how has December been. Right? I think for some it would have December has started becoming fun because finals is over. Yeah. Finals is over, guys. Right, right, right. Well, right. that's on our end, but uh, I think in some schools in Ipa. But yeah, finals is over in our end, so it's it's cool, it's cool. Mm-hmm. All right, but yeah. Anyways, um, yes, we're again going back. We're still on the topic of peace of mind, and we'll continue. All right, it is you know the part two of this topic is um, heal my anxious mind. All right, have you ever felt anxious? Yeah, recently, lots of times. Yeah, lots of times. You know, anxiety just um, hits. hits. <laughs> Randomly too. It that's true. That's on true. the most situations. Sometimes, we, even though you feel comfortable, you just get anxious. Mm-hmm. That could be anywhere too. Whether it's in your life, whether you're playing a video game, whether you're on your work, whether you're studying, and you know, it's it's easy to get hit by your anxiety. All right. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. That's true. So, um, as a uh, Young pastor, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. is key to me, key to our lead pastor as well. All right, but yeah, pastor, it's um, it's always or usually there's this feeling of anxiousness. All right, yes, yeah. 
you um, speak, as you preach. I, I could say in my end because, you know, like, it's very hard to, uh, sometimes it's hard to, uh, most especially now that it's online, it's hard to see how people will receive it. So it's That's hard true. to perceive how, you know, most especially older people would see the word. All right. Because, you know, I mean, it or not, there's going to be a little judgment from the older people. <laughs> All right. It's going to be like, who is this young man All right, to speak yeah. to me? Right. Um, so yeah, yeah. There's you know you get to feel afraid. Right. This weird weight on your shoulder, overwhelming uneasiness. Right. You know the old, uh, you know old from you know old people. So it's hard to again, like as I said, as a young pastor speaking, it's hard to discern. You know, or it's hard to um, perceive. You know how people would see it online. Compared to when it was face to face, yeah. it was face to face. Like you could see their faces if <laughs> yeah, facial if they're mad that you're not, right? <laughs> That's you could true. see their faces if you're there. Like I don't agree with this guy. I don't. <laughs> yeah, because you know you get some of that sometimes because you're young and you know mm -hmm. sometimes they just won't agree with you because you're young, right? Because you're young. But yeah, and another misconception is Christians shouldn't have anxiety, right? Christians shouldn't have anxiety. Shouldn't have. <coughs> Excuse me, what? Good dick. But, you know, there are times that we do, actually. There are times where we do. And God's telling us, there's a passage in the Bible that, tell, that God tells us, you know, don't be anxious, right? Mm -hmm. All right rejoice in the Lord always. I, I will say it again. Rejoice. All right. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in all things. That's, that's you know, there it goes. That's Philippians 4, verse 4 to 6a. All right. Deflated, all right? hurt, angry. Don't be anxious about anything. Is it possible? Or do you think it's possible? Do not be anxious about anything. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it is possible. It is possible when everything is, you know, is like is done done for you. Ah, that's right? true. When that's it's true. done for you, then it's easy to say that okay, all right. I will be um I will be I'll not be anxious about things because it's done for me. So the reason why you were anxious about, you know, things always it's because how will I live the next day mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right what will i have for tomorrow uh, well that's apparent to us because we don't <laughs> live with our parents that's true that's true. So, you know like what what food will we eat what um <laughs> what you know what recipe are we cooking today all right or if you're with your if you're in a relationship um with your partner like um how you know how am i going to um to tell her that I am feeling nervous, I'm feeling mm -hmm. anxious. You know, there are those things, right? It's hard, right, when there are health challenges. So if you'd say, you know, if you'd say there's plenty of reason to be anxious, it's not just one. There's so many reasons to be anxious. But why is God telling us, you know, don't be anxious, right, about anything? All right. Um, in 2019, two out of three. Right, people said they were anxious or extremely anxious. That's two out of three, guys. Two out of three. So that wow. ratio is um, 66.66%. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's more than half. All right, two out of three all right, people say they're anxious or extremely anxious mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right pandemic has gotten worse all right the young gen the younger generation have it worse all right we have it worse yeah all right um there was so much anxiety um as the pandemic came into play there's so much because you know as younger people i understand right? as younger people this is pandemic supposed to be ah oh, not the pandemic you know that those years are right are supposed to be the years where you know 
you get to mingle with more friends. You get to, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, have fun. You get to, you know, uh, go out and spend time with your friends. But no, we were enclosed and everyone was forced to be, you know, living um, life through four screen, four, four point, you know, window. It's either you're living through a monitor or you're living life through your phone. That's... <coughs> That's how life has been for mm-hmm. a lot of us younger people, right? 91% of high school and college students reported consistent and significant levels of anxiety associated with stress, all right? This was during the pandemic, okay? There's so many of us, all right? Younger guys, all right? I understand younger guys because the younger guys, you know, um, although you guys are young, Right? There's, you know, yeah, I believe that you guys feel, um, feel those things too. You know, you get anxious, you get nervous about, you know, when will I get to see my friends again? When will I get to, you know? Yeah, because yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. Like, when will they walk out of my life this time? Mm. All right, those things. Right? It's complex, though. You know, all on different points. All right. The anxiety spectrum, right? It's not just you know, you're anxi- you're anxious about certain thing. No, it's it's a it's a whole spectrum, right? Some, right? Sometimes it's occasional anxiousness, or sometimes it's uneasiness. Sometimes it's discomfort. Sometimes it's stress. Whether it's in a test, a presentation, a social situation. I, I believe there's so much anxiety with the younger people when it's uh, social on a social situation. <laughs> That's true. Right? Yeah, that I, happens a lot. Yeah, I think Seki would uh, agree to that a lot since, you know, he's the younger of us and he he hasn't really gotten to practice his social skills with other people. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, like, because we, at least me and Kisai, got to college and got to experience face-to-face. Yeah. So we got to know how to, you know, make friends with people because... All our life, we've you know we've known yeah we stay in one a set circle of people, just a set of people. And these guys have been our friends for the longest time, right? But um, for most, all right, that's mm-hmm. not the case because you know you get to make friends every day, all right? But Seki, all right, he did not take college. He wasn't able to you know make it to face to face, all right. So it it was all online, and it, I believe that was hard, you know, getting to yeah, interact. Right now that true. you know, Seki's going out again, all right. Maybe he has to make new friends with other people. It's quite hard, you know. It's quite hard, most especially for some reason, right? It's easy to make friends with older guys or older yes, people. Yes, that's true. That's then true. Then someone your age, because you're both anxious, right? Yeah. You're both anxious, like you and you know, you and that person are. You're you're both anxious about. You know, that is true. Since that you're both true. young, you're both anxious about it, right? Others, all right, would even uh, feel and you know experience these things and in the physical realm because mm-hmm. it's anxious you just feel it, right? Feel it in your mind, all right? And but others, it would manifest to the physical, all right? There's you know the bilate, the bilating. Dre- you're dreading, all right? Shortness of breath. A lot of people have that shortness of breath. Heart rate rises, you know. Mm-hmm. You can't function in normal capacity, right? Okay. It happens, right? It happens to a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of us people, right? But God cares, right? God cares. God wants to help, right? Heal my anxious mind. Powerful example, right? About dealing with anxiety is in Second Chronicles 20, right? Where King Jehoshaphat, right? Fourth king, right? Of Judah. All right, kingdom of Israel, one of the best kings, right? Faithfully followed God, right? But Judah had enemies, all right? Moabites, Ammonites, Mainites, right? There's other other bites, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Mosquito bites. <laughs> There's other bites, all right? Three nations teamed up to attack Judah, his kingdom, and that's too much to bear, right? That's too much to bear. All right, because you know it's it's easy to say you're you're fighting against one, but to say you're fighting against three, yeah, it's a different level. All right, that's like multiple things happening at the same time. All right, your car breaks, or um, <laughs> you you bump your car, um, 
your you can't you don't have any uh they call this financial stability to repair your car <laughs> all right <laughs> you're uh, uh you're gaining so much weight you can't get on the diet all right all right More young people all right um most of us all right what happens is we we tend to <coughs> We tend to uh, leave, leave behind and forget, and then the next day it will come back again. Yeah, right? that's, that's true. what a lot of young people tend to do. Right, matters worse, right? Well, it means for Christians, right? Uh, for Christians, it's it's hard to live that anxious life because there's always anxiety as believers because you know you'd always think to yourself, like, hey, when it's done. You know, when living life has been done consciously, it's always like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing, you know, you know, what's what's right in God's eyes? What am I doing? Mm-hmm. You know, am I living up to being a believer? Am I living up to be a Christian? Am I sharing, you know, God's love and light to others that like I'm supposed to be, right? Okay, anxiety isn't a sin. Right? You have to understand that, young people. Anxiety is not a sin. Jesus, when he's in the garden, he's suffering, right, in agony. He was praying, right? He was anxious as well, right? He was yeah. anxious, right? That's the reason why he said, God, you know, uh, take this cup away from me. Because, you know, um, knowing what he's going to go through, right? Knowing what he's going to go through. <laughs> he was very... I believe, like, if I knew that I was going to get through that, God, yeah. I'm going to be so anxious as well, right? Anxiety is the sin. All right, it's you know, it's a, it's a signal. You know how uh, when you hit the brakes in the car, the 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 brake lights over the back, you know, signals the next car that oh, this person is hitting the brakes. All right, anxiety is a sin. It's a signal alerting you that it's your time to pray. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's your time to pray. It's your time to you know. Speak, you know, to God, right? Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged the Lord for guidance. He also ordered everyone in Judah to begin fasting. That's in Second Chronicles 20 in verse 3. In Second Chronicles 20 verse 6 and 9, it says, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over the kingdoms of nations. Power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you if calamity comes upon us whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and we will cry out to you in distress and you will hear us and save us all right Mm -hmm. lord god of our ancestors aren't you not the god in heaven all right imagine the confidence that you know jehoshaphat has in god yeah god we are being attacked by three kingdoms right now. <laughs> we are being attacked by three kingdoms right now. God, we are looking unto you, God of our ancestors, God in heaven. Right? Help, Lord. He'll hear the cries right, of your heart and save you. You know, it's your signal to pray. It's your signal to, you know, to come to God. It's your signal you know, to go and tell God, God, save me from this one. Right? <laughs> save me from this one. You're probably in school, you know, you're, you get feel anxious. Because a lot of people feel anxiety in different ways. Some people black out. Like, yeah. you know, like they, it, they, uh, it, it closes off. Like their, their brain closes off, you know. The entire thing closes off for them. And um, it's your time, you know, when that thing happens, it's, you know, it's one of your good times, you know, to go to God and tell him, hey, God, I need you. No, God, I need you. God, I need you to um, to save me. All right, mm-hmm. save me. All right. When you're young, all right. When you're young, there's so many times where you would, you know, you would, um, you'd live life. All right, but you wouldn't live life to your fullest extent because you're always anxious. Yeah, you're anxious true. about the perception of other people. Yeah, right? yeah. you're you're anxious about oh, what will this person say about me? 
what, my, what will my crush say about me if you say this day? <laughs> right, what will you know? What will he say about you? What will she say about me? There's lots of that going on. All right, Dr. Caroline Leaf. All right, is an author. All right, uh, uh, in a book called Switch on Your Brain. She's she's a communication pathologist and cognitive neuroscientist with a master's and PhD. Wow. In communication pathology, all right? And many more. She has a lot, all right? She said, all right, it has been found that 12 minutes of daily focused prayer over an eight week period can change the brain to, to such an extent that it can be measured on a brain scan. All right? Wow. Again, it has been found that 12 minutes, just 12 minutes of daily prayer, all right? Daily focused prayer over an eight-week period can change the brain so much that even a brain scan can see the difference Different. that it makes. Right? Not only does a prayer touch the heart of God, but a prayer changes the chemistry of your brain. All right? That mm -hmm. is from a doctor herself. All right? Exciting, right? The brain is not fixed. It changes. Neuroplasticity. Right? When something goes wrong, all right, it sounds the alarm. Right? It sounds mm -hmm. the alarm in your brain. Right, the problem starts, but there's two things. You either dwell on the alarm, let the alarm keep ringing, all right, right. You keep the alarm, or all right, you let it just become your signal and not, you know, not let it own you. Do not let the alarm own yeah. you. Right, word you know most used often is anxieties. Right, we um, marry. Mary, no, all right. Dwelling or or pondering on fearful, anxious thoughts, all right. Mary, mm -hmm. no. Okay, that that's a word. Apparently, all right. Um, meditating on negative, all right. You will train your brain, your brain to be anxious. Right. Meditating on the negative, meditating oh. on the negative thoughts, actions, perceptions of other people, um, right. That it will train our brain to be anxious. Natural to think on what could go wrong, right? It's natural to think that, yeah, what could go wrong, right? That's the reason why, you know, a lot of people plan for plan A, plan B, plan C, plan whatever, right? Mm -hmm. It's because it's natural to think that, oh, hey, if something goes wrong, I'm, I have to, you know, I have to, uh, have to, um, what do you call this? Um, I have to, you know, do something about it. It, it. It's natural, right? It's natural. But, right, prayer breaks that cycle. Right? Prayer breaks that cycle. Prayer breaks the cycle that, hey, um, I will stop. I would pray. I'd speak to God, all right? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. That's on Second Chronicles 20, verse 12. Looking to you, trusting to you. All right, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. All right. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. All right, that's what Jehoshaphat says. The King Jehoshaphat says, you know, in his prayer. And I think that's a very beautiful prayer. Like, God, I do not know what to do. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm currently going through this. I'm currently in distress with my family, with my friends. All right. This speaks apparently to me. You know, right? It's like you would know. Um, my friends, with my family. I do not know what to do, but God, my eyes are on you. I'm looking on to you. And no matter what happens, God, my eyes will be on you. My eyes will... You know, I'll set my eyes to you. You are the goal. You are my goal, Lord. I'm going to set my eyes towards you. There's nothing else. That, and there's no one else that could take that away. All right? God, I'm setting my eyes on you. All right? God cares. All right? If it's on your mind, it's on God's heart. If it's big enough to, for you to worry about, it's big enough to pray about. Oh, All right? that's a big one. Again, it's not the sin. All right? Getting anxious, having anxiety is not a sin. It's a signal inviting you to cry to God. Cry out to God. Mm -hmm. God, this thing that's burdening me for the past two weeks, ten months, or God knows how long. All right? God, it's, you know, it's, 
it's tearing me up. Right? Okay. Again, it's not a sin. It's a signal. Signal that's inviting you to pray. So you pray. Then what? Right? You give it to God. Right? You give it to God. Anxiety is a signal. That it's a time to pray. And it's a signal that it's a time to pause. Alright? Look what King Jehoshaphat did after his prayer. In Second Chronicles 20, verse 12 to 13. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. All the men of Judah with their wives and children and little ones stood there before the Lord. Do not just stand there. Alright? Do something. Don't just do something. Stand there. Mm -hmm. Alright? Be still and know that I am God, said David. Alright? So you stay there. Alright? You pray, you wait, you do something. God heals your anxiety. Possibly, you know, um, or maybe not, right? Supernatural healing, right? And guidance, right? You see how, um, um, what do you call this? Uh, when you change your diet, right? Your prescription, right? Would normalize that into the brain, whatever mm -hmm. change in your diet, right? When a counselor or you know, when a therapist explores the root of your, you know, um, of your problems, right? It retrains, you know, the brain's cognitive behavior therapy, right? While they are waited, the spirit of the Lord came, right? This is in Second Chronicles, right? And said, "Do not be afraid or discouraged, because God, because of this vast army for the Lord." For the battle is not yours, but God's. Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Do not be afraid. The battle is the Lord's. Face it, and He'll be with you. Anxiety is not a sin. It's a signal alerting you. It's the time to pray, and then time to pause. All right? A lot of times, we pray. Mm -hmm. But we don't pause. Right? We, That's We pray, true. but we don't pause. You know, we pray about God. <coughs> help me. All right? Help me with this. Help me. Let me go through this, but we don't pause, right? We don't pause. We we continue. I and you know we continue nonetheless. We continue yeah. nonetheless, right? But you know, after we pray, gotta understand we can pause, right? We gotta understand that we can pause. Take everything slowly, right? And from then on, we move forward, right? After that one, we move forward. After, you know, after understanding that, hey, I told God my worries. I'll wait for what he'll tell me to do. Mm -hmm. All right? Lastly, all right, it's the time to praise. All right? Joshua prayed, paused, and praised. Sent worshipers ahead of the army. Okay? Not John Cena or... The Rock or Vin <laughs> Diesel, right? Nor you know or whatever band, okay? Oh, enemy, an enemy turned right and destroyed themselves all, right? Okay, he, he didn't. He didn't just praise after the victory. Yeah, he praised God before the victory. All right, it's easy, right? Enemies are dead, right? Praise God, you know when you when you won, right? Yeah, that's true. But he praised God before the blessings came, before the provision came, before the anxiety was gone. He praised God. Mm -hmm. He thanked God even before all these things were gone. All right? Even before the blessing came, even before the provision came, even before anxiety was gone, he prayed. Uh, he praised God. He praised God. Okay? He praised God even before all of that. Okay? All right. The fear of the Lord came on all the surrounding kingdoms when they heard that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel and the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was at peace where God had given him rest on every side. That's beautiful. You know, God had given him rest on every side, on all wow. things. Right? God had given him rest. Like, you know, last week you might have broken down. Last week you might have, you know, have hit rock bottom, you might have, you know, been at the worst, right? But you pray, you pause, and you praise God, okay? 
You pray your pros and you pray triple P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Pushing P. All right? You pray your pros and you praise. Yeah, God has given me every rest on every fight. Oh, on every side. Imagine how beautiful that is. On every side, I have experienced rest. How, how I fight my battles, right? May look like I'm surrounded, right? But I'm surrounded by God. I'm surrounded... <coughs> by God. I'm surrounded by, you know, His power and His own, what He can do. All right, for our struggles, not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against powers of the dark world. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the battle is yours, not yours, but God's. The Lord will be with you. Pray, pause, and pray. Right. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, my prayer and petition, be thanks and present your requests to God. The peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Jesus. Alright. We pray Any moment that you feel anxious, at any moment that you know you feel this need that hey, I feel very, very nervous right now, or I feel mm-hmm. you know that could apply to anything: your school, your work, um, your family, and your relationship with your partner. Take your time to pray. Pause. And you praise God. How do I praise God? Thank Him. I thank Him, God. Thank you for the victory that you're gonna give me. Right. Thank you for these things that you'll give me. Okay. Doesn't mean you can, you'll sing, right? You're, if you're in a public area, it's going to make you weird. Yep. Right? But if you want it, then go, right? But, you know, you pray, you pause, and you praise, all right? That's, well, that's it, guys, for Shift Happens tonight. We hope that you guys, you know, will learn something. Uh, you know, it's good to say he's here. Right? It's good to say he's here. Okay, <laughs> you know, it's a trigger to, to Christian. All right. mm-hmm. He's not neat on Chris, but he's Zeki. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, for listening, for being here. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. And I believe next week will be the last one, too. Ooh. For the month of December. So, hey. For the thank year. Thank you guys for, you know. Not uh, just the month of December. For the year. For the year. Yeah, it will be the last for the year. We'll see you guys you know, next yeah. week. All right. And thank you guys for tuning in. All right, again, if you're anxious, pray, pause, and praise. All right? Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Mm. People!